What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the shit show. I mean, Hack Shack. Uh, so, this week in the shack was a uh, total disaster from about, well, all of it. Um, I'm not even going to do a weekly update because this week went so poorly that it's not worth talking about. And I'm just going to try to put it behind me. Um, but things are looking up. Things are getting better. It's Saturday. I only have one day to do this video because tomorrow we're going to be at the drag strip and I don't have, I don't know if I'll have internet and I don't want to risk not being able to put a video out. So I'm going to make this video today and post it on Sunday. So you'll see it on Sunday. And then we're going to start making content for the week because we're going on Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0, which is not in the Rocky Mountains. So no confusion there, but I can keep rambling or I can just show you what I have to do today. I have rugged radios, a friend of mine, Blaine, uh, let me use these. We may end up we may end up buying them from him. I don't know, but but right now we're just gonna temporarily install them with a little power outlet in the truck, and I got a plug to put on the box so we can just plug it in. And then we got a whole lot of packing to do. I got all kind of crap to take, and I also still have not installed this fuel gauge that I want to install. So may try to do that today. And then we got a. We gotta pack everything, I guess. So, without uh, and final check on the diamond tee. Oh yeah, I gotta put the thing on the lift and check every nut and bolt on it. I got a new tire. Thanks, Mark, for that. Um, that one tire that was whipping or shaking or whatever. I got it changed out. I haven't drove the truck. I wanted to actually put the tire on yesterday for me while I was trying to clean up the damn mess I got in the back. But so first. First, I have the dually out here that I have to go drive. I, I adjusted the transmission tune and finally got everything working on it. I've had the valve body out of it three times this week. Um, TPS was a problem. The wiring was bad. Um, so, so many things. So I got it driving. The tune on the transmission is not excellent yet. So I adjusted it last night and it got dark and late and I quit. So I need to go drive it. I'm going to take you all with me. Just go drive around the block and see uh, see if the shifting is better. And then I'm going to let Tyler come over and drive it uh, if he wants to later today before we, you know, before we're done for the day. But I still have a couple days of work of cleaning up and double checking everything that's been done on the truck. Um, then I can send it home, maybe, you know, 100 test miles or so and then send it home. But it's basically done minus uh, a good checkup and uh, GPS speed sensor. We're waiting on that because the guys at Firepunk Diesel told me do not tap into the speed sensor feed on their anteater or they will void the warranty, basically is what they said. So uh, enough rambling. I got me a new hat. Flex fit for Big Head um, with the logo on it. I happen to know the lady that makes the hat, so she gave me a good deal, but um, they're going to... These... I guess you can add these to the square site link will be in the comments. Um, but all of our merch is on there. If you want to check it out, it's, 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 a. if you just search on Google, Harvey Sack Shack square or Harvey Sack Shack, it'll come up. It's our square site. That's where we have everything posted, but there will be a link in the comments also. So I guess we just notice if you order something while we're gone during waste race week, waste week, <laughs> race week, the order won't get processed until we get back. So yeah, but we she gets that. them out fast, but we will we will not be able to ship orders next week. We got a we got house sitters and kids and people here and in and out all week, but we will not be here to send you anything or get you anything out of the shop. So next week we are out of pocket. <laughs> all right, we got to go to work. All right, all right, time to go for a little spin. It's got the big 4,000 governor springs, so sometimes it starts a little slow, so don't judge me. Not too bad. Sometimes you gotta tap the throttle, and apparently that's a symptom of a, or a side effect of having 4,000 governor springs, but let's get the AC kicking. All right. These shifters, you can, these Dodge transmissions, they are, tough to get out of park and I don't I ain't figured out how to fix that yet every one I've done has been a little tough to get out of park
shift, but it's pretty close. All right, back in the shack. Uh, I'm gonna make a few adjustments on this tune. I'll show you what I have to do. I don't know if it'll show up or not, but she's been in here cleaning up for me because it's it's just been a disaster all week. I'm telling you. But so we'll wait on this to open up. I'm the most impatient person there is when it comes to computers. This computer is for tuning only. I have the Firepunk deal and then I have Holly on here. And that's the only thing I do with this computer. I have another one that does, does YouTube. They're all cheap. You know, my, my friends actually helped me get these. They're uh, like discontinued from a company. Look at all this mess I gotta clean up. Jeez. All right, so. We go to this deal right here. And then this is like a, like if you want to design your own tomb, but I don't, cause I'm not that smart. So I go to open and then USB drive. And then this is the tune they sent me. And then this is the tune I modified. So I'm just gonna modify it some more. So it shows you all these settings here. Um, where you can, you know, where it downshifts and does all that stuff. So what I want to do, I think, is I think I'm going to drop these. Let's go 55, 65, 75, 80. I'm gonna drop this one to 52. I'm gonna go to 50 on this one. Okay, and then the downshift, overdrive off. I'm gonna drop all of these 70, 65, 60. 60, 55, 45, 44, 43. I'll just leave the rest of them at 43. Maybe this one at 40, because that's 0% throttle. I don't know if y'all can see all that, but this is just a table showing when it shifts. Um, unlock, probably lower that, 70, 70, 70, 65, 55. Okay, one two shift was good. Two one should be fine. Three two, I'll drop those a little bit. We'll go 45, 42, oh, that's 42. 37, 32. Three was good. Let's see, overdrive on. The earliest overdrive is going to come on is 48. And the earliest, the 2 3 is 25. Let's see, I think I'm going to go 45, 47. I'm 
gonna save that. Save. Guess I wanna replace it. And now I'm gonna go out there, hook it up, flash it, and go drive it around again. Don't mind all that. I'm waiting on the GPS uh, module. And then I can mount it all. It's all, well, the mount's already built. We know where it's going. I just gotta, I got that. Holy crap, I can't believe I got the USB plugged in on the first try. All right, key on, turn the fan and the AC off so I don't kill the battery. Then, Go to connect, connect, and then right to controller, and go in here, select the tune. That's it, it's done. All right, and then we disconnect. Unplug from the remote. Put that over there, and let's go for a drive. So far it's doing good. Let's see what it does when I pull out on the highway. If we ever get there. Seven years later. I ain't in no hurry. now this video is thrown together at the last minute because like all of this stuff we got to put in the trailer for race week it's all at the last minute so hang on tight next week's video should be badass all right we've been gathering stuff this is all crap out of the shop that i have to take on race week all this stuff i'm being forced to take on race week <laughs> just kidding wouldn't go without her all right, now we gotta get all this junk in there and I still have to work on that. So, uh, let's keep going. All right, figured out where I'm gonna drill a hole for the gas gauge and now I'm gonna do it. Make a huge mess in the truck and have to figure out how to clean it up. So now I gotta figure out how to set this camera up. This phone, I mean. And you would know that this is probably the dullest hole saw I got but it's the size I need, so it has to be what it is. Went ahead and pre-drilled first, that way 
when this thing punches through, it doesn't go totally stupid. So now, nothing right there. Just gonna cut a hole. Yes, I know, I should have done this a long time ago before powder coat. sure hoping that wasn't gonna happen but it did sorry Zach maybe the gauge will hide it dangerously close. And I'm sorry y'all, I know this is not the proper way, but I am in a hurry. I really want a fuel gauge for race week because fuel is a big concern on this trip with running the 85. All right, that didn't fit. Let me go get another rag catch a lot of the shavings, just not all of them. not hide that at all <laughs> Zach dude sorry I'm not taking all this out to redo it it's just gonna have black splotches there or something we'll come up with something before SEMO I screwed that up <sighs> all right now I'm gonna wire it all right it's after lunch Victor came by brought me a GoPro because mine is junk and I sent it off or wanted to send it off to get rebuilt replaced um, but I didn't video some stuff and I'll show you. Uh, Juanita made me this. It's just a, I mean, real simple off and on switch, uh, label just so they know which way is which. Hopefully that passes tech. It's an NHRA tech end deal. So, uh, let me get a light. Show you that we, I got the gas gauge working. Um, gas gauge is in i even put a little black paint where i scratched it you can see it kind of but it's not as bad and you really can't see it from this angle anyway uh and then i put in a power outlet here for the radios so uh, somebody sneaking up on my butt back there so uh, there's the gas gauge it is full of fuel and it's showing 100 
and we tested the radios and the power outlet and it's just hooked up to this power outlet here so it all works now I'll just show them this thing you made it looks awesome thank you even got the same font as the logo if you can tell uh now we're still loading the trailer and i gotta pack the bearing on the spare because i still haven't done that so i'm gonna do that right now all right if you ever have to pack any bearings and you don't have one of these go get one they have them at over alley i'm pretty sure i've had this thing 20 years probably you got grease in it just throw the bearing in it taper down put this on there That wasn't me, that was the bearing. I might take a little stand on it. Sometimes it, they're a little tighter. See, I don't know if you can see all that, but there's grease shooting out of there. It's all 100% packed. That is the best way you can pack a bearing. It is without a doubt packed. There's that one. I'm going to do the outer. Same way. Just going to stand on it because it will work better. Yeah. Fully packed. Very nice. So, uh, hang on. Waste this rag because it's already been on the floor. Yes, I have a steel driver, but don't really have to have it for that. I always put a little grease on these. Some people say not to. I always do. It's never caused me a problem, so that's what I do. If you do it and it causes you a problem, that's your fault. Not mine. That. Throw that one in there. Well, you know what I like to do is take, well, I use my grease gun. That's what I normally do. This thing is going to be on the road. But... Yeah, just like a little extra grease in them, just to make make sure they ain't going to run dry. So, bearings packed. All right, spares back on. This thing was egg shaped or something, so I had to beat the crap out of it to get it back on. But I set the preload a little tight so it didn't spin quite as easy as it used to. But that's the spare hub. We're legal, and uh, she's loading her up.
Everything fitting how you want it? Yeah. Getting full fast? No. Good. No, it's just warm. Turn on the AC. I gotta plug it in. All you gotta do is plug it. Here, I'll plug it in for you. You got power. Where's my remote? I don't know. Did it come with one? No. Oh no, that one didn't. We bought the cheap one. There you go. Got a full moon on camera too. All right, now I gotta move the diamond T to the lift so I can get under it and check it out. Be right back right now. Boop. All right, we lost some footage after this, so we got everything loaded, as you can see in this picture, and we headed out for race week, and that's where the next video is going to pick up, so watch for that. should be out tomorrow. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate you watching and subscribing and everything, and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow.